Well, knowing our values and sticking with our values is absolutely simple because we're going to be getting the results that our customers are wanting. I agree. I think one of the things that we've always had is a is a strong business plan. We've had a strategy from day one. It hasn't varied. We won't vary. In fact, we've got customers that we've agreed we don't want to work with. We've got no we've got no desire to work with at all. And we're quite comfortable with that um, because our values entrench are entrenched in our business. It's you know true values. It makes it simple. It makes it really easy. We don't have to pretend. What you see is what you get. True. Yeah. yeah, I think it's also around the um, around the fact that knowing who we want to deal with means that they have to be like-minded. They have to want to change. They want to be part of something different. Mm-hmm. And if they don't want to be, that's okay. Mm-hmm. It's just a fine. Ha- they're happy to have and continue to do what they do, and we're happy to you know, to be with people that want to want to do something different, want to make a difference. We talk about our business model and our ethos is built around iBread or industry-based risk-engaged development. It pretty much explains what we do uh, in, in a word and where we have branded it um, because it does, in, it does describe what we do. So we're industry-based. Every single thing that we do is about working in industry. It's not about um, working in an ivory tower. Do we have a big corporate building. Do we want a big corporate building? No, we don't. Definitely not. We want a home where our kids can come and go and we've got, we can put our dog on our lap and we can go into industry and make difference where we need to make a difference. Um, so it's about industry. It's about engagement. It's about working with business, but it's also about working with people to help us get to where we need to go. So our creative design team, it's our technology company that we work with. It's our people that do our videoing. It's our people that help us with media. It's the people that help us with stationery. It's everybody that helps our business um, we're engaged with. We truly want to make their businesses work as well. And it's very important, I believe, in Australia to do that. It's about development of businesses so that we've got sustainability. Uh, it's making sure that we are profitable. Profit is a dirty word uh, in, in, many, in many businesses and with many people. But if we don't have a profit, we don't employ people. We don't have an economy that keeps going. It shouldn't be a dirty word. It should be an open conversation. This is the price I charge. It's not negotiable. This is what it's based on. This is what I've got to do. So they're very open conversations. And that makes it what we do extraordinarily different because we stick to those values. We've made a decision that we don't necessarily want to work with people who don't engage with us in that way. We want long-term relationships. We don't want an overnight relationship. We want a long-term valued one. So why is it critical for us to stick to it? If we don't stick to it, what's gonna happen to our business? It's gonna fail. It's quite simple. If we don't stick to the values that make our lives simple and easy to follow, our business will fail. Um, You know, where do we want to see ourselves? Where in five, ten years, where do we want to be? Besides the Bahamas. Damn straight, I want to be in the Bahamas. Do you want to work overseas for three months and travel and have a good quality of life? Yeah, and I think most people would like that, um, and most business people especially would like that. But it's, it's. I think it's more of if we can work with people um, to assist them with that by being able to deliver things that make a difference to their business. Um, that adds value to their business, that saves them money, then I think that you know, as an industry, as a business, as an organisation, as a country, I think we'll do, you know, we'll be well on our way to being com- well competitive. I agree. I, we, one of the things people ask us, and we've got sitting here on our, on our thing here, that our peacock, everything that's in, got involved with our brand, our colours, everything is to do with the peacock. The reason we put it there is that the peacock is viewed um, as a mystical, you know, mythical um, animal that is about excellence, it's about quality, it's about integrity, it's about values. But more importantly, and most people don't actually realise this, that the little eye that you see in the feather is about all seeing. So when you look at the word all seeing, it simply means you're looking out for risk. If you're looking at a business in terms of risk, The word risk is often viewed as a bad thing, but isn't it a good thing? Because isn't risk about that potential to keep looking for something or a different way of avoiding something you don't want to happen? It's avoiding an unwanted outcome. So every single thing in our business is about that. It's about being proactive, about looking for an unwanted outcome. I don't want to work 100 hours a week. I want to work with a business where I've got a quality of life. So 
So isn't that a fantastic thing? Isn't that why we stay true to our values? And I'm sure most people are on that same page. It's how to get there, which is what so often people don't know the solutions, but that's what's fantastic Mm -hmm. that we do have.